The TV Triantula is a cheap DIY 3D printer kit. Unboxing the kit includes the assembly manual, two small rolls of multicoloured PLA filament, the heated bed and wiring. The main frame is assembled with 2040 and 2020 aluminium extrusions with a number of acrylic parts. There is also a power supply, main board, stepper motors, display and extruder. All of the mounting hardware and bolts come sorted in bags to match the steps in the manual. The first step of the build is to assemble the lower frame using the aluminium extrusion with the corner connectors and the acrylic parts. Next is to assemble the bearing rollers and hotbed carriage. There are two larger holes which are for the adjustable eccentric nuts. Assemble the X carriage with the stepper motors and bearings. Then assemble the Y axis mount. Install and mount these components to the frame. Slide and place on the bed carriage to the rail. With the bed in place, you may notice some side to side movement. Adjust the eccentric nuts to eliminate the free play. Then check the bed moves freely along the axis. With the bed in place, install the Y-axis idler plate. Install the belt to the bed carriage and cable tie at the ends. Feed the belt around the bearing and through the internal of the aluminium frame. At the other end, place the belt over the stepper motor, add tension and install to the bed carriage. With the belt installed and cable tied, trim the ends with a pair of cutters. Install the 2020 aluminium extrusion to the top of the frame and install the corner brackets. Next mount the lead screw nut into the acrylic part and install onto the frame. With the mount in place, install the lead screw and the stepper motor. Then tighten the small screws to hold the lead screw in place. Install the extruder carriage to the frame and mount the hot end extruder. Place the belt through the frame and attach to the carriage. Install the hotbed to the bed carriage using a bolt, fibre washer, spring and nut in each corner. Bolt the extruder motor to the bracket and add the lever and extruder gear. Mount the end stops and install the main board to the frame. Place the PTFE tube into the hot end extruder and to the extruder motor. Assemble the display cover using two acrylic frame parts, standoffs and bolts. Next begin working on the wiring for the hotbed, end stops, motors, power supply and the main board. Before the first power up and print, it's important to check over the printer. Upon inspection, I found movement and free play in the extruder carriage. The eccentric nuts were at their tightest point and had no further adjustment. To fix this issue, I re-drilled the holes and relocated them closer to the frame, then readjusted the eccentric nuts. This removed the free play and allowed the carriage to move smoothly along the rail. It is also worth noting, on this printer there is no mount for the power supply or display which sits separately beside the printer. Another mod that needs to be added to the printer is a cooling fan for the print. There is only one fan for the cooling of the extruder and not the print. At the back of the printer there is only one lead screw to move the z-axis up and down, but I prefer to see dual lead screws and stepper motors for this application. On this setup, the SD card slot is located on the back of the display. To control the menu, the display uses a rotary encoder with push button function to access the menu. The first print was a vase. This printed quite well considering there was no cooling fan although there were a few small defects in the final print. The next test was the Benchy boat. With no cooling fan, the print was unsuccessful. I reprinted the Benchy with a desk fan pointed at the print. Using the fan, there was an instant improvement on the final print, which shows adding a print cooling fan is an essential mod and would be nice if it was included in the kit. Overall, the TiVo Triantula printer has potential apart from the few issues shown. 
Out of the box it will need quite a bit of adjusting and modifying to be a good 3D printer. 